Let's check out how to resolve the not working, no error code on the glowworm boiler. Have you ever turned on your glowworm boiler only to find it won't start and there's no fault code to guide you? It can be frustrating and confusing, but don't panic. Boilers usually display error codes like F22 for low pressure, F28 for ignition failure, or F29 for flame detection issues. These codes make troubleshooting easier for both homeowners and engineers. But if your glowworm boiler stops working without showing a fault code, the issue can be harder to diagnose. In such cases, it's always best to call a qualified boiler repair professional to ensure safe and proper repairs. Let's review the most common reasons causing the no error code on the glowworm boiler. One of the most common culprits is a block plate heat exchanger. Over time, lime scale, sludge, or debris can build up inside this vital component, which transfers heat from your boiler to your water. When it's blocked, your boiler may struggle to fire up, or it might operate at dramatically reduced efficiency. If you live in an area with hard water, this is something to watch out for. Another hidden issue could be a stuck or faulty diverter valve. This valve decides whether hot water goes to your taps or your radiators. If it fails, you might notice your hot water is working, but your heating isn't, or vice versa. Because this component works quietly, a fault here often won't trigger an error code. Faulty temperature sensors are another common problem. Boilers rely on sensors to measure water and system temperatures. If a sensor gives inaccurate readings, the boiler may shut down for safety, even without showing a code. A qualified engineer can test and replace these sensors if needed. Sometimes the issue is in the flow or the micro switches. These internal switches detect water flow and system pressure. If they fail, the boiler may not register when you turn on the tap or the heating, leaving it idle and seemingly unresponsive. And finally, don't forget about the condensate pipe, especially in winter. If this pipe freezes, it blocks the boiler's drainage, causing it to stop firing as a protective measure. This is a common issue in exposed or uninsulated areas, and it can happen even if no fault code appears. Let's find out how to fix the no error code on the glowworm boiler. First, check your boiler's pressure gauge. If it's low, topping it up to around 1.5 bar can often solve the problem. Always refer to your boiler manual for the correct steps, every model can be slightly different. Next, listen to your radiators. If you hear gurgling or bubbling, trapped air might be preventing proper heating. Use a radiator key to bleed them gently and release the air. This can improve circulation and get your system working efficiently again. In colder months, a frozen condensate pipe can stop your boiler from firing up. To fix this, carefully apply warm water or a hot water bottle to the pipe to melt any ice. Remember, gentle heat is key, don't use boiling water or direct flames. Finally, make sure your gas supply is active and the boiler is receiving power. It may sound basic, but sometimes a simple disconnection or trip can be the culprit. If these steps don't solve the issue, it's time to call a qualified gas safe engineer. They can safely inspect and repair your boiler, ensuring your home stays warm and safe. Following these tips first can save time and help you understand the problem better. Service team heating engineers can handle all the boiler makes and models, including Glowworm. As a professional boiler installer, we guarantee that we will meet the highest standards set by the manufacturer. Click on the link below to book a service team boiler repair. Thanks for watching and stay warm.